Hello everyone. So today we want to talk about this question swapping nodes in a linked list. So let us read the description. So you are given a head of a linked list and the integer k. Return the head of the linked list after swapping the value of the k node from the beginning and the k node from the end. The list is one indexed. Okay. So let us take this example. So values are one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, and four. And the k value is two. So it is zero and it is one index. So the value is this one. From uh, from the beginning, and the k value is uh, that is second value from the end will be this value. So we are going to swap this value. Okay. Basically, this value is this one four. Okay. So we need to swap this value. Two and four. So after swapping, you can see we are going to get this two here, and we are going to get four here, and we are going to just return this value, and we are going to return this head here. So that is our task. So let us take this example. So in this you can see seven nine six six seven eight three zero nine two. So the fifth value from beginning will be one two three four five five here, and from end one two three four five. So we just need to swap this eight and seven. So here you can see eight and seven are swapped here. In this value, other values remain the same. Okay. So let us talk about other examples. <coughs> So when k when uh, there is only one value and k equal to one, we are returning one. Ah, uh, for head equal to one and two, when k equal to one, we are returning two one because this is first, this is first. So both will be swapped. And for one two three, when k equal to two, we are going to get the same values. Okay, because ah uh, from from the first, the value which is nothing, ah uh, second value is two, and from the end also this value is two. So it will be basically swapped with itself only. Okay, so the value remains the same. Talking about the constraint, you can see the number of nodes in the list is n, and uh, one is less than equal to k, less than equal to n, less than equal to ten to the power five. Okay, and node dot value is up to ten, up to max to max hundred. Okay, so zero to hundred. Okay, so this is node value. So let us talk about the solution here. So in this case, what we are doing? Let us take this example. Okay, one two three four five k equal to two. So basically, we need to swap this and this. Okay. So first, we are what we are doing? We are making pointer one, which will be which will be pointing to the head, and we are taking the pointer two, which will be pointing to head. Okay, pointer one, pointer two. Now both are pointing to the head, and we are just taking a k uh, node, k list uh, list node, which will be pointing to the null. Okay, so we are just uh, pointing to the null here. So what we are doing? We are doing this while loop, and we are taking minus minus k. So initially it was two. Now when one one time it runs, the k becomes one, and for the next time it becomes zero. So it will not be again moving in this position. So pointer uh pointer one will be pointing to here. So this is basically uh, not this one pointer. Pointer will be uh, this one. So now pointer one is pointing here, and pointer two is pointing here. Okay. Now what we are doing? Uh, k. Uh, we are pointing k to the where pointer one is pointing. So now pointer one uh, k will be pointing to here. Okay, this position. Now what we are doing? We are just running this while loop. First we are uh, incrementing our pointer, pointer one. So pointer one will be uh, pointing here. Okay, and pointer two, uh, pointer two will be initially it will be here only. So pointer two is here, pointer one is here. Okay, so. Now uh, what we are going to do? We are going to run this uh, pointer one because pointer one is idle, so it will be going to reach the null first. So null is pointing here at the end of this five, and uh, we are going to just run this loop, okay? And we are going to simultaneously move this uh, pointer one, pointer two. So you can see this pointer one, pointer two is at difference of k. So point when pointer one reaches to the end, you can see the pointer two will be k position back from the pointer one. So uh, see when this is here and this is here pointer one. Now when they move one position ahead, so this will be here and this will be here. Okay. So then again when they move, this will be here and this will be here. Now again when they are going to move, this will be at this position. This is basically the fourth, and uh, this will be at the last. Okay. This will be at the last. Now you can see this uh, pointer two. It reached uh, basically this. Pointer two is reached at the uh, k values from the back. Okay, so this is nothing but k uh, k values. This is first value. This is uh, second value here. 
now you can see this pointer to is po uh, pointing to this position and kth position is pointing to the the value from the kth kth value from the beginning and we are going to just swap these values so swapping pointer to value pointer to's value and kth value okay so when we are going to swap these values we are going to get 1 4 3 2 and 5 so we, this is nothing but the solution which we want and we are going to just return the head we head basically was pointing to the head only we, we, we did not move we didn't move the head so head remains where it was pointing so that's it for this code uh, we'll meet in the next video with other problems